Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today we will be talking about Everfest First Edition, taking a look at the market, doing a market update, and doing an evaluation of the expected value for the box. If you want access to all this information as a collection tracker, you can head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG. Grants you access to this collection tracker where you can track the value of your collection in real time, see if you have yourself a full set, and do all the things you want to do. It's a great way to uh, get kind of a summary of your collection value based on these videos it also gets you access to a discount code over at minmaxgamesfab.com where uh, minmax is a fantastic retailer there they were at the pro tour they were involved in the community awesome retailer uh, if you're looking for singles of this game so uh, also access to discord server all the stuff anyway let's hop in and talk about first edition everfest and talk about the box prices and what is going on in the market right now sealed booster boxes uh, you can pick them up pretty pretty widely available at $77 uh, super um, the volume of this is interesting you can see a lot of buys at like the $65 price point uh, it looks like even this weekend uh, there were boxes sold at $50 so definitely a lot of interaction in the market it seems like anything under 77 is getting scooped up uh, but then once the values hit 77 it seems like people kind of um, stop buying but the volume under that price point is is really good so uh, that's a, a decent sign at least if you have Everfest booster boxes but if you want to pick one up right now it costs about $77 so that's the value that we're going to track here you can see it's kind of up and down he always started way, way out. Uh, I don't know anybody who was really paying this price. It seems like most people paid around 90 to 100. Uh, and so that's what we're setting. Anyway, let's uh, hop on over to the Fable here. The Fable sitting about 250. This is down 4%. Again, this is sold listings uh, currently available. You can uh, pick it up a little bit cheaper uh, on currently available. Let me pop that up for you too. Uh, the Grand Door, uh, sitting at 271 right now from, from Fable Hobby. But if you take a look at the sold listings this weekend, again, we got down to 250, even last week down to 200 uh, and 250. So uh, that's kind of the last sold listings available. Again, if you're looking to pick one up right now, it might be more like 270, 275, uh, but a little bit soft this week on the sold listing side. Looking at the legendaries, no real changes. Uh, two weeks in a row that we're ticking up. Uh, the the Bastion of Eisenloff is up three bucks to 88. You got Silver Palms up two bucks to 45, and Skull Caps up five bucks to 105. So no no huge changes. It is nice to see this trending upwards though. Uh, other than the you know kind of big loss we had a couple weeks ago. The real story though is your Cold Foil Commons, and we'll get into those Cold Foil Majestics. Not really doing much. Skull Crushers way up. Uh, and that's putting the majestic average up 3%. Uh, so a lot of interaction there. Skull Crushers, again, the one that is really pushing the value up. Bravo Star of Show still sitting around 75. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that now that it's Living Legend. Uh, I think the price has already pretty much priced that in, though. We'll see what happens. Uh, Dreadbore is up a little bit to 12%, up to $18. Vex and Quill Hand is down a little bit to $28. The real story, though, is the Cold Foil Commons, which are up 50% this week to an average price of $8.20. Uh, now, James White did say in, a, in the interview at the Pro Tour that the community hasn't quite figured out, basically, that these are more powerful than we are giving them credit for so it'll be interesting to see if the community figures that out but people took in took that and uh took it to town and, and bought up some cards one of them being uh talisman of warfare which is the one that is up the most up 272 percent for this talisman of warfare cold foil cheapest copy right now you can get is 15 bucks uh there's you know sold list things you can see six at a time two at a time uh three at a time definitely something that's gotten picked up by people who are specking on that probably as a result of that statement uh, you've got some some uh, down ticks already though. Like Talisman of Cremation here is at five bucks, uh, and I was kind of looking at sold listings and where things were. Uh, and Talisman of Cremation, uh, you have sold listings even up to like seven, six, and now it's available for five again. So I don't know. We'll see if this holds. Uh, you know, you get one of these basically per box. So we'll see um, if if this pushes more to the market or not. Uh, I'd love to see those go up in value because that will push the EV up this of this box up pretty significantly which you'll see in this video so all in all your average is up 16 percent to an average of 15 dollars and 96 cents for your cold foil extended arts also up a little bit up four percent to an average of 16 dollars and 11 cents uh the big one being aether wildfire obviously kano had a great performance this past weekend at the pro tour kind of driving that up to about 110 dollars for that extended art uh all in all though not a ton of changes a lot of you know 
just ups and downs and down ticks and switches and typical stuff that we see at cards that are 45 cents the percentages don't really matter that much but uh yeah all right keep going here uh into the majestic rainbow foils uh ready to roll is up 42 percent to dollar 25 winds of eternity up to about ten dollars again a lot of people specking on ninja right now as a result of some of the spoiler stuff coming out uh techlo pounder up microprocessor you know dashed it decently well we saw a lot of dash games on camera at the pro tour so maybe some people picking that up uh again aether wildfire is the story fractal replication is another story sorry that's my daughter uh hanging out but uh, yeah, a lot of movements, a lot of upticks uh, here on all the uh, Illusionist cards all ticking up. Again, we have Illusionist spoiler coming out. Uh, a lot of people looking towards that and Kano as well. So uh, all in all up 11% to $5.33 on average. Then get your regular Majestics. It's going to be about the same thing. Skull Crusher is a popular card right now. And Blitz, uh, you've got uh, Ready to Roll, a card that's kind of grabbing up. But it's just $0.29, cents, so nothing major to talk about. Uh, let's see, you've got, where's our uh, Aether Wildfire is actually down on the rainbow non-foil side. That's interesting. Uh, Fractal Replication way up. A lot of those Illusionist cards up. It'll be really interesting to see what happens as we learn and see more about these uh, about these heroes that are coming up with Uprising. But all in all, your Majestic's an average of $2.29, which is up 4%. Your rainbow foil rares are sitting at an average of a 20, 26 cents. Regular rares don't really count. And your rainbow foil commons are sitting at an average of 12 cents. So as we get into this EV, um, keep in mind boxes for 77 bucks. This is the breakdown. You get about one extended art in every two boxes. And uh, the cold foils are calculated out based on what we do know, which is the cold foil legendary and the fable. So it kind of calculates that out. Uh, based on that, your true EV, including all the cards, is sitting at $84.06. If you want to only include the Majestics through the Fable and the Extended Art, obviously, uh, you're sitting at $80.64. If you take out the Fable and the Rares, so you're just looking at like a 10-box average, you're sitting at $74.39 because you are including the Legendaries. But if you just open up one box, we're actually up pretty significantly this week to $38.54 because of those cold foil rares being so much better in this um, you know, this new market where we, we know that information now. So it'd be really interesting to see if the community comes up with any actual deck lists that support kind of this idea that those cold foil rares are cheaper than they should be. And uh, it'll be interesting if that holds true. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Again, if you want access to all this stuff as a collection tracker, you can head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG. Get yourself access to that discord server as well as the uh, min max games fab discount code. So hope you guys are having yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and we will see you again next video.